it is a special year, 25 years. Tell me, where has all the time gone? It's been a remarkable journey for all of us, myself and all the members. I think we've had some terrific achievements. It's my favourite event, as it happens, because the talent we have on the stage tonight is second to none. A very good evening to all the CEW members, friends and the families. In an increasingly fast and impersonal world, to take time to help others sets you apart. A CEW achiever not only achieves, but helps others achieve. Now it gives me great pleasure to introduce Vasiliki Petru, who is the Executive Vice President of Unilever Prestige and our dynamic chairwoman of CEW. She's going to open the awards. I'd like now to introduce you to our first achiever, Lorraine Candy, and to present her award, please welcome to the stage, India Knight. My job is to introduce Lorraine, who is my boss at Sunday Times Style. Lorraine's career trajectory is simply amazing. It's like something from a novel. The best thing about Lorraine is she's terrifically modest about all this. No, she's not. <laughs> But we're way past the point, largely thanks to people like Lorraine, where women have to seem modest in order to make their achievements more palatable. Lorraine has a big light and a tiny bushel. She's a great big show of more power to her. Come and get your very big award. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank CEW for my first ever Beauty Award. I'm proud and privileged to be recognised by this powerful and influential organisation. I think it's brilliant when we take beauty and the beauty industry really seriously. It contributes £17 billion towards the UK economy, so it's a very serious business. It's also about the well-being and happiness of women, and I think that's something, well, I hope that's something I've contributed to over the years. The world that we work in is changing rapidly, but no industry is better placed with better people to adapt to that change than the beauty industry. It's a pleasure to work with you all. Thank you. Our next award winners are Sam and Nick Chapman of Pixiewood. And to present their award, please welcome to the stage Dominic Smale, CEO and founder of Glim Futures. I literally don't know where I would be, certainly not here, if I hadn't met Sam and Nick Chapman. And it brings me so much joy to be able to present them with an award like this in front of such an amazing audience. So come up, Sam and Nick, and get your achievement. amazing to be recognised amongst all these brilliant people. In a world where we are inundated with terrible, terrible advice online, we still try to be really honest and really true, and we appreciate this massively. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. She's one of the smartest, the most hardworking, um, the most humble, the most peaceful people I've ever met. She's also a, an incredibly emotional person, and so I'm not going to enjoy this bit where She's going to come up here and she's going to get very emotional, so Nicola, please. CEW is such a globally recognised network now and it's really such an amazing lifeline for our industry. So to be recognised as an achiever, especially at the 25th year anniversary, it just means everything to myself. Thank you everyone and I have so much love and deep sincere thanks for everyone in this room. Thank you. Complementing every wildly creative talent, there must be a strategic and insightful business person in the mix. Our next Achiever Award recipient, Demetra Pinson, has been that businesswoman. So it gives me great pleasure to invite Demetra to the stage to receive her award. The ultimate compliment is to be recognised by your peers, uh, the people who know best what it takes to achieve in your industry. So I am incredibly proud to be recognised um, by an organisation as respected as CEW. Moving on to our next award, I would like to invite to the stage Amanda Harlech to introduce this year's Special Industry Award recipient, Sam McKnight. <laughs> He's the man who's worked ahead for every major photographer, magazine, supermodel, and of course the princess of princesses. 
So it gives me great pleasure and let's all congratulate the one and only Sam McKnight. It's been a big year for us on Team McKnight. We've had a book, an exhibition and our product launch. So this really is the icing on the cake. Thank you. I must say I remain as passionate about our industry as ever. Please hold tight for 2018. I'm not done yet. I would now like to welcome to the stage Jackie Owens, who will present the award to the winner of the 2017 Digital Achiever Award. We're thrilled to be sponsors of the Digital Achiever Award, um, this year especially the fourth consecutive year in the row, where we can really align with both values that we share between Google and CEW around empowerment and education. We were unanimously impressed with Hannah Pajato, the founder of London Lash Professional. London Lash Professional, in addition to running a successful digital business, this year focused on inspiring, educating and empowering the eyelash industry by launching a digital course specifically for advanced technicians, which has been completed by over 480 students. Hannah is currently overseas, so unfortunately isn't able to be here with us to accept the award, but we do have a video to share with you. Hi everyone, I would like to say that I'm super happy that I won this award in Digital Achievements and it means so much to me. When I started London Lash three years ago, it was something I could have only dreamed of. And I'd now like to ask Laura Brown to join me on stage, Hannah's colleague, who will be accepting this award on her behalf. Knowing how much this means to us, as a company and as her colleagues, I can only imagine how much this means to her. Thank you very much to CEW and to Google for this honour. Have a great night, everyone. Our next award for this evening is the Members Achiever Award. Each of our four finalists have already achieved a great deal and will no doubt go on to even greater success. Best of luck to our very worthy shortlist, I would now like to introduce Trini Woodall to the stage to reveal our winner. Good evening. Um, I just want to announce the four exceptional finalists shortlist are Rebecca Cullen, the beauty brand and education manager at Marks and Spencers, <laughs> Caroline Mapletoft, the senior digital executive at Coty. Margaret Mitchell, the buying director at Space NK. And Nicola Sutton, the head of marketing at Pie Skin. And the winner is Rebecca Cullen, Mark Spencer. To win something like this is almost like winning a BAFTA in my mind. I'm like, I feel like I've come, I've come home, I've got everything I need. I don't really need to do anything else. I probably just will have name. Most of all, thank you to CW because this is incredible. I'm probably going to go and have a little cry now. But that's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. This next award is a very special award to recognize a true great of the industry. Our 25th anniversary award. To present this award, please welcome to the stage Alison Young, beauty expert presenter at QVC. I was really humbled and excited to be able to talk about Mr. Philip Kingsley. In fact, I'll probably cry. I have got no eyeliner on my lower lashes deliberately. He created from very humble beginnings, working, sweeping the floor at a barber's in his uncle's shop, right the way through to being having clinics in London and in New York. His celebrity client list leaves nothing to be desired on that list, starting with people like Audrey Hepburn, who inspired him to create perhaps his crowning glory of elasticizer. He wasn't driven by pounds, he was driven by results, and he was driven by customer relationships. And that came through when he actually came on air with us. Oops, here I go. Anyone that wanted a question or wanted to meet him, he would spend time with, and he would treat them as equally as he would his celebrity clients. I am just so proud of my father and everything that he achieved in his life. Um, and as his daughter, it is, it's just, it's incredibly moving to be able to, to accept it on his behalf. Giving people confidence was Philip's favorite aspect of his job. He was a great listener, advisor, and mentor and an incredible father and friend. 
Words cannot describe how proud I am of my father and what this award would mean to him. Thank you, CEW. For our final award for this evening, I would like to invite to the stage Cecile Badge to introduce this year's Lifetime Achiever, Laura Mercier. It's an absolute privilege to be presenting this very special Lifetime Achiever Award to Laura. Nobody owns the flawless face quite like Laura. Nobody is as humble as Laura because Laura has quietly pioneered key makeup innovation and has created true icons such as the translucent powder that we all wear, her primers and her tinted moisturizers long before they became mainstream. Please come and get your award, Laura. It's very unexpected for me to receive uh, such an award because in my mind I did nothing so grand to receive that honor but obviously I feel extremely privileged and flattered uh, and happy about it. When I started almost 40 years ago I never anticipated such longevity in my career. Being able to make even the slightest difference in the beauty world of my clients, teaching them and giving them just a little more confidence is probably the most rewarding part of my job. So, I don't know if I deserve such an honor today, because for me, of course, I did something I loved um, all my life. All I know is that I feel incredibly blessed and privileged uh, to return tonight with such an honor. Again, thank you very, very much. I am reminded that it is each and every one of you that makes this industry so special. As our 25 years draws to a close, I can look back with real pride on what CW and you, our members, have achieved and look forward with great anticipation to what the next 25 years will bring. It's so exciting to be here at the Dorchester and celebrating CW's 25th anniversary. It's been a great 25 years of networking, professional education and career advancement for women and men in the beauty industry. It is going to be the decade of the woman as we move ahead. So my message to all of the women out there is lean in, make the most of it, this is your time. The food is at the door. The best is yet to come. <laughs>